Google just dropped Stitch 2.0 and this is actually good. They've added Canvas mode, increased the generation limits to 100 per month and expanded it to over 30 new countries, all for free. If you've ever wanted to design a professional app interface without touching design software, this tool makes it super simple. Let me show you how. Now, this is Google Stitch. It's designed to turn your ideas into professional UI designs using AI. You can literally describe what you want in plain English or upload a rough sketch and it generates a complete interface for mobile apps or web apps. And in today's world, if you don't learn how to use AI tools like this, it means you are falling behind those who do. I know there are a lot of people who are paying designers thousands of dollars or spending weeks learning complex design software. All I can say is you don't have to do all that. You can learn how to use these AI tools so you can start creating professional interfaces in just minutes. People who ignore AI design tools will keep wasting time and money on traditional design methods. They will keep hiring expensive designers for simple mockups or struggle with complicated software. But those who are learning these AI tools, we are moving faster, we will create more and will even get more results without the massive learning curve or cost. Let me walk you through exactly how to use Stinch 2.0. For you to be able to use a Stinch 2.0, you have to go to stinch.withgoogle.com. No credit card is needed. All you have to do is just log in with your Google account. Once you are in, you will see two modes. You have the standard mode and the experimental mode. Now, here's what changed with the 2.0 update. The standard mode uses Gemini 2.5 Flash for quick designs. And the experimental mode now uses Gemini 2.0. 5 Pro with 100 generations per month instead of the previous limit. For better results, I recommend you use the experimental mode. Now, this is where Canvas mode comes in. The big new features that you must know about. Now you can set up the layout. You can choose between the mobile and the web app. You can view your entire user flow at once and you can also track components consistently across screens. You can select mobile if you're designing an app or you can select web if you are designing for websites. The canvas automatically configures itself for your choice. Now to test it, all you have to do here is simply describe what you want. So for instance, here we're going to choose mobile and we're going to give it a prompt to create a fitness app dashboard with workout stats, progress charts, and quick action buttons. When I click on this, it is going to change the view. And just like that, you get this beautiful design here. As you can see, this is a design that it has built. And when you go back on the home, you're going to see today, this is what you build. If you want, you can upload a sketch. You can draw your idea on paper, or you can create a basic digital sketch. Stitch will convert it into a polished design. Also, you can also like upload screenshots. Maybe you have an app you like. You can upload a screenshot and ask Stitch to create something similar, but different. With hundreds of generations per month, you can try different themes and also color schemes. You can test various layouts. You can modify specific components. You can generate multiple screens for the same app just to see which one looks good for your app. So that gives you more power actually to come up with the beautiful designs and come up with something that you like in the long run. It doesn't, you're not just restricted to one design. And when you do that, that's it. You can actually generate hundred generations of different designs of your app or website it also suggests new screens that it can design for you for instance here it's suggesting that it can design the add a day activity goal section to the dashboard if you like this you can just click on that then it's going to start building and designing this screen the new suggested chat responses make this even faster because stitch suggests improvements you might want to make and just like that, it was able to design this screen for us. And also it suggests other things. Incorporate a personalized workout recommendation, wedge it on a dashboard. This is cool, right? This is cool. It suggests all the screens that you might want to have in your app, which is even more powerful. Now, when we come back here on the hub, we also want to give it a prompt so it can design an e-commerce web app right a website so i'm going to change now to my web layout so we're no longer on the mobile but on the web so here we're going to say design a modern e-commerce web app home screen with the featured products search bar categories and user account section so here i'm just going to click on generate design 
And just like that, we have this beautiful homepage for our e-commerce store. Look at this. This is beautiful here. In under 30 seconds, we have a complete professional good looking interface. The spacing is perfect. The colors work well together and it follows modern design principles, right? This looks beautiful and clean. Like it doesn't make noise. It's just straight on point and it's really professional, right? You would love this. You can build. So look at that. This is really beautiful. Now, if you want to refine any parts of this, so for instance, I'm just going to give it a prompt to say, make the search bar more prominent and add a shopping cart icon in the top right. You can just give it this. I know I have a shopping cart already on top there, but let me just see what it can do if I give it that prompt. Now, look at this. We have this design here. We also have the design here. Now, I want you to compare the uh, the, this design on top here you see this is the first design when you scroll down here we're going to see the second design do you see that do you see this it was able to actually change this yeah, everything else still remains the same everything looks good the set is now prominent and it is even more powerful what about the cut the cut we have the cut button here it has also changed to like the first one here you can see this is the first one and this is the second one so yeah you can actually refine your design and come up with the something that you really like so this is perfect you can zoom in and zoom out on this using the control key if i want to zoom in here i can scroll down scroll up using the scroll wheel you get everything these designs are perfect they're following like perfect design layouts this would have taken hours of traditional design tools or it could have cost hundreds of dollars right from a designer You can now follow these steps that I've just followed in this video and get professional results. The AI handles all the complex stuff, typography, spacing, colors, everything. Users experience, principles, everything. You just need to describe what you want. And Stinch does the heavy lifting for you. Now, how can you use this or how, why does this matter for your business? If you are an entrepreneur, you can actually mock up your app idea before hiring developers right if you're a small business owner you can create designs for your business apps or websites if you're a freelancer you can offer design mock-up services to clients and start making money that way if you're a student you can build a portfolio of like interface designs and people who are willing to pay for interfaces like this will start paying you this makes anyone turn ideas into visual concepts instantly the fact that it's free and now it has higher limits means you can experiment without worrying about costs which is even more uh, better and powerful now the canvas mode is a game changer instead of designing single screens you can now map out entire user journeys like you can you see how users move from one screen to another and ensure consistency across your entire app which is even more powerful also the higher limits mean you are not restricted when iterating right which is even more powerful you can try multiple approaches and you get exactly what you want and with the expansion to 30 plus new countries more people worldwide can have access to this too which means wherever you are you're most likely to be able to have access to this now what i want to say it is in a better version and even this experimental here as you as the name suggests it's experimental so yeah you have to get take note of that so i want you to come and try this today come to stitch with google.com and you'll be here log in with your google account you'll be here and you have access to this for free pick a simple idea you've always had and see what stitch can create for you are you going to use this for a business idea a portfolio project or just for fun the people who start using tools like this now will have a massive advantage over those who wait don't be the one waiting if this helped you see how easy ai design can be hit that subscribe button and i'll see you in the next video bye